auditorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Confers, we have a series of sermons on decay, about the future of our American foundation. We're facing the likely closure of St. Minder's Prior, selling off of its assets. However, we should not fear uh, for the Holy Spirit has been with us up to this point, and certainly he will continue to guide us and lead us. Father's love. Until now, we have been a questionable conservative decision concerning the paltry wealth that we. Excuse me, dear confrere, but we purchased that property. It seemed like a good venture at the time. Those two sting mill owners in Huntingworth seemed wealthy men. You are the sole responsible party for this dire state of things. I tried to make things right. I poured money into those mills, but Father Alder obtained loans for us. Have exorbitant interest rates. How am I supposed to save St. Mindred if I don't stone. have? Please. Let us be mindful of our situation. Allowing our emotions to boil over into unfettered words will not solve our problems, nor will it resolve anything in the future. But what about the children? What about our remaining brothers? What about the people of God who come to rely on us to bring them to Christ? What, what, what will this say about Our Lady of Antioch when, when it's months just up and left, packed up what we have and left, and things started going badly? Are we just supposed to uproot ourselves, sell it acre upon acre, and leave the hill? This is the you speak of the lay brothers and the servants as if you're the only one who is invested in this foundation. Why do you insist on drawing others into this argument? Chrysostom, how about we talk about this systematically? We are not neglecting to care for our servants, the lay brothers, or those we have come to know and love in our time here, but please, could we just be civil for a moment? Confers, I very much have the responsibility for the situation that we find ourselves. I was the one who purchased the property. I was the one who accepted the responsibility for the parishes that Ferdinand had formed. I was told that we would come here to establish a new monastery in a new land but there is no monastery here. I have been broken, both body and soul, but I will do whatever Abbot Henry says. I am the man who can save and elevate St. Mindred. Multe sententiae sunt impia. I know we can do well on this hill that you have directed to come into our possession. At one time, I believed myself to be the man to save and elevate St. Mindred. Though these turns in our earthly fortunes make me question my efforts, I hope Abbot Henry orders me home to Einsiedon. That way I can say in all honesty, I've been ordered home. And I don't have to keep up this facade anymore. Chrysostom, I am sorry for my callous remark in the chapter room. Please forgive me. I forgive you, Richard L. I want to go home. I don't want any of you to think that I've failed you. Chrysostom, yes, we've made a vow of civility to Einsiedel, but that doesn't preclude us from physically staying in one place that God has called us. Yes, 
we might be monk moral operators or parish priests or whatever St. Myron might be in the future. But that is not important right now. This drag line, as you call it, is what brings us happiness. It's the only semblance of monastic discipline we have right now. I will obey no one but his lordship, our abbot. What should I do, Isadora? Most worthy Lord Abbot, most dear father, in meetings on April 12th and 13th, 1858, each of us considered the situation and composed to our own opinions. A composite that was then signed by all and the following points were agreed in common. We all agree to undertake a liquidation and are here setting down our views. If the liquidation is total, it could be done in the following way. The school would not be opened in the fall. The brothers would remain, but no new brother candidates would be accepted. The servants and workers would be dismissed. We would sell in the larger cities much of the land. The profits from such sales would be used to eliminate the debt. On the other hand, if we have a partial liquidation, we must first ask what your lordship understands by a mission house. Is it a monastery with a school, a monastery without a school, or a school without a monastery? But when we consider the chapter decisions at Einsterdam, we can only conclude that you and the entire chapter propose to found a monastery with a school. This encourages us to make our first joint request to you to opt for a par partial liquidation sufficient to eliminate the debt and establish a mission house with a school. We are convinced that we have the spiritual strength and monastic training necessary for a proper monastic life at St. Meinrad. In this way, you would found St. Meinrad anew. Once we have a proper superior, we will at least be free from errors and deceptions, and we will all unite ourselves to achieve the same goal. Permit us to express the fact that the above statement is in agreement with our conscience. We are ready and willing to support, as far as possible, the wish of your Lordship. We are your Lordship's unworthy servants and faithful sons, Father Ulrich Christian of the Order of St. Benedict. Father John Chrysostom Fafa of the Order of St. Benedict. Father Bede O'Connor of the Order of St. Benedict. Father Isidore Hobie of the Order of St. Benedict.